Hey y'all, it's Divine Reads with the daily reading. <clears throat> so, I'm finishing up my shuffle like always. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay. So, overall energy for your reading, right? Seven of Cups. Okay. So, there is some sort of maybe decision needing to be made. Um, somebody has choices, um, options, okay, trying to choose what's best for them. And this is kind of going along with the same energy from yesterday, um, just to start, right? So this option may be about a two of cups situation, soulmate energy, um, some sort of deep connection, possibly a spiritual connection, um, possibly... Um, a relationship that you're in or wanting to be in, right? So the next card is the strength card, okay? Strength card. And this is kind of giving me the energy of you guys may be going through some sort of battle, something that you're needing to be strong about, right? Something that you're needing to persevere maybe through, okay? During a time where this Knight of Swords is coming in with the energy of some sort of demand, okay? Whether they're demanding your attention, your time, they're demanding answers, this could be harsh communication, okay? Maybe you're preparing for um, some sort of conversation between you and a partner, all right? Why is the Knight of Swords here? So the Knight of Swords, um, is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? And the Queen of Pentacles is kind of letting me know that this could be a conversation about money, about finances, okay? This could be a partnership, okay? If not romantic, this could be a business partner. Um, but this is kind of about someone who may be waiting or may have been waiting, okay? And they've been waiting to have this conversation, again, about some sort of decision that's needing to be made. So if this is you waiting um, for this conversation, this could possibly be you expecting them to come toward you with some sort of clarification, okay? They want some sort of answer or you're waiting for them to come and give you some sort of answer, okay? Possibly an answer about reconciling, okay? A conversation, some sort of communication about getting back together, a reunion, okay? This could also just be someone from your past, right? A lover from your past um, coming back to have some sort of communication. Um, this could be someone hurrying back to you, rushing back toward you after having had some sort of a separation or breakup. possibly a third party situation this card comes up so much in the energy these days but this is my mistress card okay um and it could have something to do with the fact that someone had someone else at a point and the bottom of the deck is still um the two of swords okay so someone may have chosen someone else at a point and then they're coming back or they're waiting to come back to you um, maybe they're waiting for things to mull over, waiting for healing to take place, waiting for you to forgive yourself, you to forgive them, um, them to forgive themselves, take it how it resonates, okay? But whoever this is, um, you, they, you both know that this is a soulmate connection. You know that this is um, a deep connection. You are each other's person, okay? So let's pull some cards for advice. So I've got the nine of cups, okay? Nine of cups, this is kind of like wish fulfillment, okay? This is another version of the lover's card in my deck, okay? And then I've got the ace of swords, okay? So I'm feeling like um, this is definitely positive. If you're waiting for someone to return to you, um, if you're expecting some sort of communication, even if the beginning of the communication is a little... Um, 
harsh in the beginning. I feel like you guys are going to be able to work through the communication to get to a point where, you know, you're able to tell each other, hey, I love you. I miss you. Um, let's work through this. Let's have a victory together. Okay. So I'm going to pull a card from the Oracle deck. See what we get. Ooh, please, Spirit, give us any messages to top off the reading for any clarity. All right, we'll do it one more time. All right. Oh, it's mending. Okay. So this may not be that when you guys have this communication, um, you're probably not going to get right back together right? It's going to take some time, okay? It's going to take some healing. It's a process, okay? But the process is going to be started very soon, okay? This is this is the two of you coming together to discuss your differences, um, to discuss, you know, maybe what went wrong. Maybe you're not discussing the past at all. Maybe you're just discussing, let's just be friends. Let's move forward in love. Let's, you know, pick up the pieces and let's start fresh. Let's have a new beginning. Let's just, you know, find a way to get along. Let's communicate better. Um, I feel like this is spiritually guided. Um, I'm seeing angel wings here. There's also, um, there's a face right here. Okay. That spirit, that's an angel. Okay. Watching mm -hmm. over the two of you mending as you sew and weave your lives back into one another okay um very beautiful energy okay it's very innocent um this could be also someone that that you've known from childhood since childhood maybe past life relationship this could also be um, a sibling. This could be a sibling relationship, okay? This could be a sister that you haven't spoken to in a while or you just haven't had like a really good relationship with for some time or ever, um, if that's possible. And I'm just getting that, you know, there's a, there's a loving, innocent energy about these two people and their connection, okay? They enjoy each other's company. They have fun with each other and they are both maybe noticing at the same time that it is meant to be or that it is time to come back together um, or that there's some things that are both that's happening in both of your lives right now that's bringing you back together okay that is helping you guys mend um, it's sort of some sort of connection that you both are sharing at the same time possibly the same place in your journeys at the same time this could also be a friend um, a friend that maybe you haven't spoken to in a while or you guys used to be close and you're not close anymore um but you just have a conversation and you just realize that you guys have been through a lot of the same things during the time that you know you haven't been speaking to each other um whatever it is i'm feeling really good vibes about it and the bottom of the deck is yin and that is a two okay and so this is two people coming together they're a match Okay, they're a match for each other, the yin to the yang. Okay, two peas in the same pod. This could be any sort of a relationship, but whatever the relationship is, it is a significant one and it's an important one in your life, in their life at this time. Okay, that's your daily message. Thanks for watching. Love you.